Did we ever get so old? Well, I guess we hang around long enough. It's inevitable, huh? I mean, many, many lifetimes ago, I suppose we could have hung out for a thousand years and just partied in the body, but things have been accelerating. I'm sure we're all aware of that. And uh, God, you've already lived about a thousand lifetimes just in the last 60 years, you know? I mean, just half of them since I've known you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we've had so many glorious transformational days together. I am so grateful, and I, I know that the uh, the joy and bliss and wisdom that we all have pumped into the atmosphere as our cosmic tribe has been well received and is making a huge difference. And um, you've been such a big part of that. You're such a dear, beloved community father. You've hosted so many wisdom gatherings. Um, boy, I'm burning man. I never, I'll never forget the eternal dance as we waited for the lotus to open. 
And here we are on planet Earth, metaphorically, continuing to wait for the lotus to open. But, you know, there have been a lot of success stories, and I think you can take credit for a fair number of them. So, um, you know, I, I, uh, I hate to see you go, because I'm probably going to be hanging around here much less happy unless you're here partying with us. But um, I know that you're probably going to keep doing your work from uh, the light body on the other side with a, a few more uh, magical emanations and a few less limitations. And so I, I, I give you a thumbs up, my friend. Uh, you're, you are an eternal love being. And uh, my memories of you are not going to fade anytime soon. And uh, hey, if you get well, just consider this a, a love you get well card. Mwah. Well, guys, I just found out two days ago about your state, and I, so I still think of you as a very well-being, <laughs> and uh, I will always hold you as a well-being in my heart, and uh, you've meant so much to me <laughs> over the years, it changed my life, people I've met, things I've done, and uh, I'm eternally grateful to you all these amazing experiences from the digital BN days to Egypt to Burning Man and great dawn conversations about the back plane of consciousness and I have a feeling all these things are not over yet and that wherever you go on your adventures if you do you find yourself if you do find yourself at a some kind of cosmic party uh, with like-minded souls and feel like reaching out to us. I'm open. Uh, I'd love to be able to get a message from the other side of the event horizon. And if anyone can do it, it would be you. Though I understand that um, you might be so engaged with other things going on that uh, communicating with the likes of us may be seem a minor thing. Uh, I certainly feel that way when I've been at some of our parties and I get a phone call and I don't want to talk on the phone because I'm there so present with what's going on. And my guess is that that's part of what you'll experience over there. But you, you'll be able to, you tell me, <laughs> we'll find out. We'll all know soon enough on ourselves, I suppose, but it would be nice to uh, connect um, through the dimensions. I really appreciate your uh, multi-dimensional heart mind uh, connection with me and son and Bruce and Iman and, and if you see Iman say hi to him for us appreciate that um, and uh, let's try to stay in contact it'll be wonderful and can I join you? come join me come join me Love being. You're such a wonderful brother. Mm. You're so precious in our hearts. And you're such a huge blessing in our lives. Yeah. And I look forward to editing all that massive amount of footage that you've given me <laughs> to help try oh to tell God. our we story. Oh my God, we were so busy having that life, we couldn't get around to editing it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. Any edit suggestions? So. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. We'll take it as, uh, you know, helping things speed up or, you know, helping us uh, skip things that aren't worth our time, you know, whatever works. Yeah, for most you. significant themes at this point from your perspective. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, we're open. So thanks again and, uh, for being part of our lives and so close to us. And uh, it's, it's rare that we get to know someone like you. And, I'm so happy that we did. And yet, we're Continue. A, there's only one oneness. Yes. So glad we're in yours and ours together. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Be well, brother. Yeah. To the beach house and beyond. Yeah. Love you. Love you, man. Bye for now. Oh, last breath of this life. First breath of next life. Keep it light. <laughs> really understanding the obelisks and the pyramids. What happens is we get those going, we get those transmitting with the frequency of the sun. 
and they and they emanate that. But we have to do it. We're the key right. to do it. We are the Earth's senses, but we actually see more because of our sunspot. And Gaia herself is depending on us for her own transformation. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're the forward guard of her senses, and Absolutely. we're we're rocking things and it is through the light it is our yeah. tuning into our own light and that's that's how our true communication is all right i don't know burn through the karma get to the zen be ready for um, the future which we are remembering <laughs>